we are targeting a small asteroid in space that we've never seen before. We don't know what the shape is, um, and we have limited information, and we're targeting that small asteroid at a very fast speed. Awaiting visual confirmation. All right. We got it. Waiting. 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 And we have and impact. We Nothing but celebration after a spacecraft successfully crashed into an asteroid today. That collision, courtesy of the DART spacecraft, you see its signal go out immediately after impact. I want to talk about this mission, okay, because we want to make something very, very clear. There is not an asteroid heading for Earth. Don't page Ben Affleck. This is a historic test of planetary defense, but it took a lot of research, planning, and preparations to get this done. And you best believe with this type of mission, our Los Alamos National Lab scientists were involved. It's what we call a global killer. Now that's a Hollywood blockbuster, but Bruce Willis was not called in for this latest mission. It's taking a spacecraft and crashing it head on into a moonlet that is about the size of a sports stadium uh, in orbit around a bigger asteroid. You heard her right. Los Alamos National Lab scientists played a role in getting this done. Let's get you caught up on what we're talking about here. We'll take you back to last November. A spacecraft named DART-0 launched into space atop a Falcon 9 rocket. The DART mission on the way for humanity's first ever planetary defense test mission. Its target, an asteroid named Dimorphos, some 7 million miles from Earth. And the goal... You just want to move it as one piece rather than blow it to pieces. DART, going 14,000 miles per hour, hits the asteroid. This is really not about destroying the asteroid or destructing it. It's a, we like to call it like a small nudge. There's a lot at play here and getting accurate predictions of what could happen, well, that's where Lano comes in. In order to make sure that we pick the right asteroid, that we're hitting at a speed where we'll be able to see the change in its orbit, we've done many, many high-performance computing models where we have a digital representation of both the asteroid and the spacecraft in exactly the impact scenario, where we can now predict what's going to happen and assure ourselves that the telescopes will be able to see the change. The hope is the hit will nudge that asteroid in a different direction. Right now, it takes about 12 hours to orbit Didymos. And if DART is successful, as we predict in the computer models, that orbital period will change by about 10 minutes. This mission marks the first test in planetary defense and could lead to so much more in protecting our planet. If we know that we can change the orbit of Dimorphos around Didymos, then we know we can push something off course and stop it from hitting Earth. So by using telescopes on all seven continents and in space, scientists will monitor over the next few weeks to see just how much of an impact the collision had on shifting dimorphos.